Can we use it to practice? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, sir, I'm going to take off. I appreciate all the time and stuff like that. Just, right, thank you. Uh, I appreciate y'all being safe, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if you just hold your fingers in your ears like that when they fire, it'll be all right. Backwest area clear. On, on the way. Little high. Bang. Cock. Instructions, everything's good. Waving the sword. <laughs> Got it. Thumb in. Loaded. Black back there. Cleared. Sorry. Already up, right? Oh, already up. Zero. Okay, yeah. So just dial it. You're already on the ring. Well, I'll be in the fight with my squad. Gets you got it. Oh, yeah. Three meters. Three hundred meters. Same target, reload. Firing. Off and on, and it keeps one in my way, or mid of angle. Um, you know, when you shoot an 18 round, 10 inches is nothing when you get out there with that. Bing. Load it! Left area cleared. Sorry. Ah, we did. I went over his head. All right, I'm gonna shoot at the lowest part of that berm to the right where the troops were. That was 300. That target can't be 200. Is on fire? Right. Yes. Ready okay. to fire. Black bass area cleared. Sorry. Target. There you go. Put it on safe. Whoa. So you're looking at uh, 500, 500. U.S. soldiers from the 4th Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division, learn how to use the M3 Carl Gustav 84mm recoilless rifle. Socrates Dominguez, a trainer with the Special Operations Forces Field and Training Team, explains the benefits of using this weapon system. Uh, one of the main benefits, like uh, unlike the AT4 or the law, which you only fire one round and you got to throw the launcher away, you can fire over and over and over again up to 1,131 rounds. Specialist William Brown tells us how the training went. This has uh, been real good training. I've actually never seen this weapon system before. Uh, the civilians teaching the class are. Uh, real knowledgeable they've taught us everything about it and it's uh yeah. been a blast yeah. to shoot <laughs> Back area clear. 
For Curahee Public Affairs, I'm Sergeant Brad Parrish. Got one right here. Got one, Got one tripod. Oh. Slow it down, slow, slow it down. down. Listen to my call. Higby, hit it. it. Rainy, go. Hit it. Higby, hit it. Bangle, give me an ammo count. Hurry up, Brainy, get your silhouette down. Prep the rounds.
Keep on that leg. I want two on that leg. You want two? I want two. He's getting out of consciousness. Yeah, we need a guideline. Because first of all, you've got to be discriminately lethal, you've got to be agile, and you've got to be adaptive. And that's what you're doing out here. You've got to make sure that you can do the base skills like professionals.